Right. Hey guys, it's me, Key, and I know I haven't been here for a while, but today we're going to do some Key Recommends. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about age gap beginner recommendations. As my history with age gap is that at first I was like super like apprehensive and was like mm, that's weird that could get real creepy real fast. <laughs> and that's the thing so when I started reading romance I kind of realized that like age gap is one of those things where either readers depending on like how much of the age difference it could like the, the age of between the hero and the heroine or vice versa um it can go either two ways it can be really good and like it doesn't matter and like the author just it's just there it's just part of life situation it's not like throwing your throat or it can be into the creepy route of like grooming uncomfortable creepy just like it's like that's a no-go for me so i was like let me pick some age gap book recommendations for beginners like myself that I was because I don't want to be thrown in my face because I'm just like that's I don't really really care I just really care about their love story at this point um and I don't want them groomed so that's weird um so it's also not only does the age gap depend on not only the writing of the author but the mixture of tropes so that can make it real weird real fast real quick you know so it's very fine line. <laughs> Either you like it or you don't. And you can kind of find some gray areas, but depending on the mixture of all of those factors. Um, so I was super hesitant um, because I was afraid it was gonna, the age gap was gonna be so wide that it just made me uncomfy. And I'm just like, I don't really wanna feel like that when I'm reading a book. Um, so here are a few, my top four recommendations for age gap beginners. Um, and there are also some three honorable mentions that either for the spice level and also books that I have not like read, but I also I literally wanna read them. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. And I have like copies of like two of them. So cool. So the first, um, so here are a few age gap books to dip your toes into this this trope. Is that a trope? Yeah. Um, so the first one is On the Island, which I actually own, is On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Um, this gives me one summer vibes too. Um, the woman on the front, she's actually, and it's also like student teacher, so that can get real Ugh. but she is on the way she's hired by the heroic or heroes like parents um to tutor him and they're on a plane so they're supposed to their their goal is to um meet the um the rest of his family like on the island or whatever where they're supposed to be vacationing for the summer but it just so happens that they had to take separate flights so both he um both he and her are on a on a, like a private jet and they get stranded for years and so of course that develops um into a relationship but it wasn't awkward like she didn't even want to get into a relationship with him so it was like oh this is awkward but of course it's stranded like you're bound to literally fall in love with this person because they're literally the only person to fall in love with quite literally um so this is quite enjoyable um, this is older woman younger man by 14 years difference um i tried to put some notes of like the difference if i could find them and if it was noted in people's reviews or like just on the book um but this is a 14 year difference he's i think 17 18 and she's count 14 years y'all okay um the next one is wow i actually own this one my bad hold on so the next one is Colty by Mariana Zapata, my fave. She's my fave. And this is a chunker. Um, you know, this is no audiobook. It goes by faster. Uh, but this is older older man, younger woman. And also a lot of Mariana Zapata books does have age gap. But this is the one that kind of stood out to me that was a first for me. Um, and this is a 13 year difference. Um, this follows uh, Sal is 27. And Reiner is like 30 somethings. He's in 30s. <laughs> something um but it is a four this is 13 year old different 13 year difference um and so sal she used to literally have 
this man on her wall, Colty on her walls. Like she's too, she thought of him as a role model, blah, blah. And then she meets him and she's like, well, my, though that went down. My perspective of you went down. And now I have, to, you're literally coaching my team. Like, are you joking? And so it's a slow burn. It's what Miss MZ is known for. It's a slow burn and oh God, the characterization love it so much so culty by my name is vada <laughs> the next one is the forbidden man uh, by karina halley i recently read this like i think last summer or either yeah last summer um and this is older woman younger man and it's a 17 year age difference this um she recently she was i think she's a she's a coach so student is a coach and player and she's a coach for an international um team sports team and clearly you guys can kind of see a thread here um but she is a coach for a international men's team um and you know she works with them and so she ends up i think they either end up meeting in spain is it spain or italy it's one of the two i could be very wrong but I'm going to put all these links down in the description. Um, but they work together and Alex Alejandro Meldeos. Oh, Meldeos, that man. And she, um, like the heroine in um, On the Island, did not want to pursue this relationship with this. She's like, no, I feel like I'm taking advantage of you. Like, I don't want to, like, do that. And, like, that man was all gung-ho for her. Like, when I say that man was all for her. All for her. Ooh, yes um and of course there's always like external factors of like family looking questionably of like oh my god that's weird like you got that's that's an age difference it doesn't it's like not in your face like she brought it up the heroine well i remember most of the time like she would bring it up like we can't like i can't do this with you like this is no like no and he's like no i'm literally grown i can do whatever i don't i can do whatever i want so and i want you so really what else is there <laughs> so yes i really thoroughly enjoyed that there's also a perfect summer read as well um because that is in like it's giving you international vibes travel and it's so dis dis the the descriptions of like the homes and the, just the cobblestones and just the food everything lovely just so lovely the fourth recommendation is birthday girl by penelope douglas <laughs> Uh, now this is older man younger woman um this is this is a 19 year age difference i know if i keep seeing numbers you guys are like oh my god like, oh. it's fine these four books y'all are gonna be fine it's not obvious like it's not like in your face throw like no um birthday girl um pike pike if you know you know um so birthday girl is um where essentially she meets this guy at the movie theater on her 18th because her jerk hole of a boyfriend um does not he's he's trash he's the most trashiest boyfriend that i've read in like i've read a lot of romance and he's he is the trashiest like he's a grade a dirt hole honestly and so she meets this guy named pike and she's like oh my gosh and then she realizes that's her boyfriend and daddy so clearly um and then because of things that have conspired they now have to move in with with him with his dad so <laughs> let's see how that goes um it was beautiful my god it was the alternate cover i think somebody made an alternate cover or either like an illustration that thing was chef's kiss it was chef's kiss this is one of my favorite books i want to reread actually i i have not read really read birthday girl in a while i actually this is one of the first age gap romances special place in my heart because this is one of the first age age gap romances that i read um i actually read it um jessica from jessica peace love books years ago when i like was getting into romance um i saw this on her channel she kept recommending it and i kept literally watching the video and like i would see the video almost year after year i'm like and then i just finally came and read it and i was like oh my god what was i missing what was i missing pike that's who i was missing pike <laughs> Ooh. Mm, that man 
time. Now for the on the three honorable mentions. I have not read I've read the first book that I will mention, but the other two I have not mentioned. I own the third one that I mentioned. So I'll just mention it. So Lessons in Corruption by Gianna Darling, which is book number one of the I don't I forgot the series. But I recently read this and this is a older woman, younger man. Um he's literally still in high school. She literally is a student teacher. Um, he's part of a motorcycle club. <laughs> and I went in like, mm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm comfy. It was, that book, he kind of gave me like weird vibes. Um, but as I kept reading, I was like, okay. I kind of had to ignore the fact like, okay, just ignore it. And maybe it won't come up again. So I think I'll probably enjoy the second book because that I th Gianna Darling, she's known for her age gap. A lot of them are age gap. Um, so yes, I actually enjoyed that. I think I rated it like a four. Um, and it was really much more emotional and like um, action packed than I expected for some reason. And I was like, oh wow, I was not expecting this. Um, but I rated that a four out of five stars. And it was, it was really a good time. It was a good time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Also, it was spicy. So there's that. Just a heads up. Um, the second one is Medicine Man by Saffron Kent. This is an older man, younger woman. Um, the man, her, he rose in like his in thirty, his thirties. Um, I don't know how old. I think the the woman is in her, is the woman she's in high school, uh, like eighteen or either just her eighteen or like about her nineteen. Um, I couldn't tell, but I'm gonna research. Um, this is Doctor Patient. Um, and I really don't know anything besides that, but I know, like I've heard this, I've seen this recommended on age gap beginner video, or not beginner videos, age gap recommendations, and so I was like, interesting, that's a book that I would probably, that piqued my interest, um, just based off the synopsis, and yes. And the last honorable mention is The Idea of You by Robin Lee, there we go, because I actually own this book digitally on Apple Books, <laughs> so um yes so that is older woman younger man um and the woman is 39 and i don't know how old it didn't mention i couldn't find how old the man the hero was um but this is i think like this woman she is like recently divorced and she's just trying to find herself in a new another country um and i think she's moved to let me see yes yeah, so she's an art gallery owner um, and she is reluctant to take her daughter, Isabel, to see her favorite boy band. Oh, wow, that's interesting. She actually makes a connection with one of the boy band members. I don't know how to know that. Oh, she, he's also a 20-year difference. So, she's 39. So, they actually, um, she actually goes on tour with this man in Paris and Miami. And she's, like, on this journey of, um, self-discovery and just rediscovering her happiness and just finding love again and i think that's really cute that's oh that's surprise i don't know why i didn't know that that's was a synopsis but yes there we have it those are my beginner recommendations for age gap and then a few honorable mentions that i have i read one and then i kind of want to read some, the other two so i'm very excited i dip my toes very in and out i'm very picky very picky with my age gap if it's not it's just making me uncomfy i i'm not gonna read it so these are the ones that i recommend for y'all um to dip your toes into and yes i will definitely do be doing a rereading of these because of summer vibes and it's time for some rereads okay so i will leave all the books down below um with the amazon links down below in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video ciao Can you just sit down?